Okay, so this demo, you're going to need double-sided tape. You're going to need an X-Acto knife and a ruler. For your cutting mat, which I don't expect you to have, you can use um, like a cardboard box that you unfold or like an old piece of wood or something to protect the table underneath. When you cut with the X-Acto knife, you don't want to cut through to the table underneath and ruin it. So that's why we use a cutting mat in class. But if you're at home doing this, um, see if you can put maybe some cardboard underneath in order to protect your surface. So when you start, you're going to be looking at your mechanical like this. And whichever direction uh, you want to go, you can start. But you're always going to turn the paper to be the way where you can... Um, pull the knife towards you. So you never want to be cutting, you know, this way. You always want to be pulling it towards you. Be careful because these are extremely sharp. They will cut you. Uh, we have had many bloody incidents in class before and I've cut myself as well. So even I'm not uh, immune to Okay, now I've got all my verticals and horizontals, and now it's time to do the angled parts. So for the angled parts, you're just gonna line your ruler up and dig in and cut. Give it two cuts. Make sure you don't overcut. You don't wanna take out um, a piece here that you might miss. You also don't wanna accidentally cut off a flap When you're done, you're going to simply peel off the excess. Oh, I missed a spot. It's the last piece. Okay, now I should be able to just remove the excess and throw that away. And what I'm left with is my box. Make sure that you haven't cut off any of the flaps, right? Make sure you've got everything there. Next up, we're going to do what's called um, scoring. Now scoring is doing the same thing we just did with the ruler, but instead of cutting these lines, we're going to do them just once and we're going to do them very gently. So same concept. I'm going to start with my verticals and I'm going to hold this very lightly and I'm not going to, I'm going to push hard on the ruler, but I'm going to push light on the X-Acto knife. And I'm just going to do one light swipe. That should be enough where I can get a nice fold. You can see that. Nice fold, but it doesn't go through the cardstock all the way, right? So we don't want to cut those flaps off. We just want to give it a little bit of a score so that it can fold nicely. If you don't score it, you're not going to be able to fold this cardstock. It's just too heavy. So you're going to have to line up your ruler and a very light pressure and then just test it. If you feel like it's not going to fold, then you can give it one more light swipe. But you shouldn't be able to see um, the, the flap coming apart. It should still stay very secure on there. Once we do those two, now we're going to come across and do these. So anywhere that you had a line, you need to score uh, where all the folds will be. Once you've got all your scores done, you should be able to start to fold up the box and it should start to take shape. Next part, we're gonna do the hardest part of all, which is cutting out this hole. Now, because it's rounded, it's really difficult to cut a rounded shape using an X-Acto knife. What we're gonna do to make this easier is we're going to first use our ruler and cut. Remember, push down hard here because we need to cut through the two layers. 
and we're gonna do one horizontal and one vertical. Kind of like as if you were slicing up a pizza pie into four pieces. Make sure you don't go past the circle, but you should have something that looks like this, like a, a four quadrant. Now, all you have to worry about is connecting this cut to this cut and then repeating that four more times. So it's hard. You're gonna have to freehand it and you're gonna have to push really hard when you do it. Remember, you always want to pull the knife towards you, not away. So there's our first piece. And then rotate the box as you go. So this takes a steady hand, um, a lot of pressure, and curve the box or rotate the box as you come out of that curve. This is probably the hardest part of the entire mock-up lots of pressure. Your muscles should be sore. It should be like a gym workout. You're not going to be able to cut through this with a light touch. As you approach the turn, go ahead and turn the box as well. So you want to get that nice hole cut out right there, right? Next up, you can take um, any kind of Ziploc bag you might have and you're going to cut a small piece that covers with enough overhang to secure it. So you're going to take that um, clear plastic that we cut that looks like this from any kind of Ziploc bag. You're going to lay it down on the back on the reverse and you're going to use clear tape, just regular old scotch tape, and you're going to secure that down. And you want to cover it on all four sides and you want to go all the way around with the tape. Make sure you're pulling it nice and tight. So you want it nice and tight um, across there. All right. The end result should look like this. It should be clear and clear, right? Then you're going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut one single line right through the middle there. And that's going to be where the tissues will dispense. All right. Now, if you have a reach-in box, you're not going to need the plastic there, but for most boxes, they will have the plastic in the hole. Now you're going to look at your tabs, and anytime you have a tab that needs tape, we're going to use double-sided tape. You can get this at um, Staples. It comes in wider widths, which I wish I had, um, but you're going to go ahead and tape all your tabs. And you want to cover the tab completely in tape. You don't want to take just one little piece and go, okay, I'm done, because it's never going to hold. So you really want to cover that entire tab, if you can see that, all sticky there. Um, all these tabs should be covered fully in double-sided tape. So don't miss a spot. Make sure you've got all your tabs covered. If you need to keep folding it up to check which ones need the tape and which ones don't, you can always do that as well. And just make sure they are covered edge to edge with the sticky tape. You can always fold in on the edges if it hangs over. You can fold it back in there. Now that we have our tabs taped, we're going to make sure we want our tissues nearby. One of the amateur moves is to put the box together and then forget to put the tissues in, right? If your box is a square, you're going to keep it like this and you're going to insert it hump up so that this can come off the top. So keep it in like this if you're using the square box. If you're using the, the rectangle box, they can just be flat like this with one tissue out the top. So this is a flat box. So I'm going to start by folding up one of these sides. And you really only get one shot here, so make it a good one. And then you really want to push in there, if you can get your hand in there and push down really, really hard to make sure that seals together nice. So you can see inside there, I'm kind of like rubbing where uh, this edge is. Just really seal it up in there. Okay, once we've got that done, we're almost there. We just have our side flaps to go, but we wanna, for, don't forget to put our tissues in, okay? So I'm gonna put these in here slide them in and then I'm going to pull one tissue out the top and then let it go like that so that is a functioning 
tissue box. And now we just gotta close up the sides. So we're gonna figure out which ones fold in first, second, and third. Again, try to get your hand in there to push against that back wall if you can to really make sure it stays on nice and secure. And then same with this side. We're gonna fold in, fold this one in, and then bring this one across. Everybody might have a little bit of a different uh, flap situation, but for the most part, uh, we might even be able to get our finger in from the hole up here and push in. So you really wanna make sure that tape is stuck really well. And now we have a working tissue box created by you and totally functional. Super cool. That's it.